For those who crave a refreshing red wine during summer, here's a surprising tip. Look to the great white wine regions. Here to explain is WSJ online columnist Letty Teague. Letty, thanks so much for being with us. Always a pleasure. Is this a little bit of a well-kept secret in the wine world? Um, Perhaps it is, you know, mm -hmm. come to think of it. Um, but, you know, it makes sense. You know, if you're, if you know, white wines that are well structured, have bright acidity, um, when, when red grapes are grown in the same cool climates, um, they have a lot of the same characteristics. And you, what you want in a summer wine is refreshment. So you want a wine that has bright fruit and great acidity, doesn't have a lot of alcohol, doesn't have a lot of tannin. So you want something that's young and lively and like what we're about to Like drink. you brought, yeah. well, thank you so much for bringing yeah, a little sure. wine with us. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Uh, what okay. are some of the famous white wine regions then that we can look to? Um, well, one, nice red. well, one is the one that we're going, we're going to be drinking from very soon, and that's the Alto Adige region of uh, northeastern Italy, um, which is home to a lot of terrific white wines, um, most famously Pinot Grigio, Pinot Bianco, Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, um, uh, Muller Turgau, I could go on and on, but also red grapes like that most people don't know unless they um, are familiar with this region, but grapes with difficult names like Schiava and Lagrine, but also that have um, you know the same characteristics as a white. They have, they're really bright and, and lively and have great acidity. Um, other white wine regions like the Loire Valley of France uh, is a great example. Um, even in Chablis there, there is a, a, a red wine um, made not far in the village of Erancy. Um, also Sonoma Coast of California, you know, great racy Chardonnays and terrific lively Pinots. So, you know, it's, a, it's, it's something to consider. Absolutely. You know, well, let's give shopping. this one a try. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it has like such a such a wonderful sort of strawberry nose. Mm, it does, and it is mm. light, which is mm -hmm. what you want in a summer red. It's juicy, you mm -hmm. know. It's refreshing. It's it's sort of yes. gulpable. Which Absolutely. Is, and again. what about the price point on this? And that's wines? the other beauty part, because of course I don't know many people that want to spend a lot of money on a wine for summer. It's just kind of a seasonal mindset. This costs um, anywhere from eighteen to twenty dollars. So again, you know, Fantastic. Not major investment. It's. It's a little bit hard to find. That's the one downside to the, the red wines of Alto Adige, just because people don't know them as well as the whites, because they do have these kind of challenging names, which actually, to make it even more difficult, this wine is called the Schiava or a Vernach, and it's the same grape, and there are some producers that actually use both those names on the label, so they don't help you very much to understand. Like, well, now that you're yeah. reporting on it, the secret's out, so maybe they will be more widely <laughs> right. available. Drink up. <laughs> Letty, thank you so much for that. Cheers. Cheers. My pleasure. <laughs> mm. Really yummy, really yummy.